What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. Today, we're going to take a look at the Prime One Studio Green Lantern from their new 52 quarter scale line. This was a collaboration project with Sideshow where they did all of the Justice League. This will be my fourth review out of the seven pieces that have been released. I've already done Batman, Flash, Superman, now Green Lantern. I do need to get a line on the Wonder Woman and Cyborg. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing and a review. So let's get to it. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit that like button, and hit the notification bell so you're made aware every time we release new videos. We drop new videos every day at 11 a.m. Eastern, and we do live streams on Sundays. We're giving away this Supergirl Premium Format exclusive by Sideshow Collectibles once we hit 90,000 subscribers. This is a worldwide giveaway. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see the details on how to enter. Alright, as expected, we have the same type of box as we did with the other New 52 statues. White and black, Green Lantern logo on both sides. It also comes with assembly instructions, which I'm a little nervous on. I heard the assembly of this was a little bit tricky. And this piece has some issues of its own. This one also came with 2017 catalog. See, this piece is already a few years old. Alright, so let's get Green Lantern out of the box. Alright, let's take a look at the base first humongous piece of translucent green resin that looks amazing it's coming out of this space rock it's kind of whipping around almost like fire you got the traditional silver border around the bottom of the base and a similar bottom number 34 out of 800 low number all right then we have the body of green lantern very similar to the sideshow john stewart i just reviewed all flat black part of the costume shiny green parts it looks like he keys in via his back just like Superman. All right. All right, we have a very big piece of translucent resin here. Now, I think this is where it gets tricky. I think his arm goes through this loop here, and it also keys into his back. So maybe I'm wrong about where he keys in. Yeah, this goes into his back. He does key in with his foot. All right, that wasn't too tough to key in. Yeah, so the piece pegs into the base in two parts, keys into his back, and then his foot keys into the bottom. So it's kind of like the perfect storm. Anyway, next piece here is his uh, left hand with the lantern. Very cool, it's movable. Then we get his right hand. This is the hand that has the ring. So I like how they did the painting around the ring and on the fingers as well. That looks good. All right, and then here we have the head sculpt. Man, looks very Hal Jordan. I like that serious look. Almost gives me like an Alex Ross vibe a little bit. The way he's got that serious pointed nose. He's got the good sculpted hair. Skin textures look good. All right, let's get them all put together. Okay, I see why it was tricky now. Not only does this piece connect to the base in two parts, also plug into his back, also have to loop around his arm, but there's a little teeny peg that goes into the ring at the end. So when you put his hand in there, you kind of got to move it a little bit. It can get kind of tricky. Now, for whatever reason, there are five of these small pieces of rock that have to key into the base. They are color coded. So let's uh, get these in there. Alright guys, so Hal Jordan is the first Green Lantern of the Silver Age. There was a Golden Age Green Lantern, but that's a different character. Silver Age Green Lantern first appears in the comic book Showcase 22, which is reprinted in this Silver Age Omnibus Volume 1. These omnibus are a really great resource to have these Silver Age comics represented in this high quality, oversized artwork. So in 2011, DC rebooted its entire catalog and dubbed it the New 52. 52 brand new titles which included Green Lantern. Now Green Lantern and Batman are the only ones that didn't change the continuity and I think Jeff Johns Green Lantern run had a lot to do with that. Jeff Johns had such an epic run on Green Lantern prior to the reboot that they just kept everything and Jeff Johns just picked up when the new 52 started in the third volume of his Omnibus. These Omnibus are must owns for DC collectors especially for fans of Green Lantern. Alright guys, let's jump into a review of this statue, and as always, we'll start with the base. 
So again, I really do like the silver companion piece sub base that all of these Prime 1 New 52 statues have. The paint job on this one has seen better days though. I don't see why it looks so sloppy like that. Unless it's supposed to have a weathered look, but nevertheless, it has this kind of calligraphy around the uh, ring and it has the Green Lantern logos as well. Moving up to the base, you have this rocky type of asteroid base. Now, I don't understand why they included those five little pieces that had to peg in. A lot of them have seams, and they were just unnecessary. I guess it was just supposed to blend into the translucent part that has the rocks running through it and make it more like it's lifting up. But, uh, I don't know, for the seam, it wasn't worth it. Pretty standard color, you just have a asteroid gray looking rock base. But where the piece really shines is that big chunk of green translucent resin, his willpower construct that is warping all around him with a fire water type look to it, winding around him, going from where his feet are, around his back, wrapping around his arms. Awesome piece. Uh, kind of like with the XM Studios Phoenix though, you can see where it connects through the translucency. You can see where his foot pegs in, you can see where the top part of the resin keys into the bottom part on the back there but see to me those are worth it this construct looks great this translucent with all the movement going on i think that it's uh it's going to be hard to really notice that at first you're, you're going to have to really be looking for it a lot of people say this is the best quarter scale green lantern man it, it's up there for sure i definitely like how it's integrating his powers with the base that looks great his pose i'm not so sure about his whole kind of falling back you know and, and also and i think i've heard criticism like this before he's pointing his ring forward but the construct is wrapping around and, and behind him so i guess that does look a little bit odd but it's still a cool statue either way kind of looking at the close-ups you know uh, the body i think the body sculpt looks great I like the different um, finishes on the paint where the black is matte, but you have the green parts are shiny. And then the white parts are matte, but they have nice dark shadowing on them, so you can kind of see some blacks in those white gloves. The anatomy looks good. He looks lean, but muscular, but fit. And you can even see like his stomach turning in the position that he's in. So I think they did a good job with the anatomy on that. A lot of sculpted in detail going into the lantern. They really made uh, they really made it pop. You could even see on the bottom of it has the Green Lantern logo. The white paint looks like that Mother of Pearl type of paint on the uh, front and back of it. I like that it's functional. So that looks cool. And then the portrait. I mean, I'm looking at his ears and I can see right through it. They have that translucency that they do on their skin tones, which really adds a lot of realism to it. Like you guys saw in the close-ups, he's got that stern, stoic heroic looking face with his strong nose hair sculpted and good he's got that clean part <laughs> he looks great so let's go ahead and see how tall he is it looks like his head is probably the tallest point here he's about 21 inches tall the diameter of the base is about 11 and a half inches but it could be about 12 inches if you want to see you know where the lanterns poking out He's pretty compact though. He doesn't really go outside of that diameter too much. But he, he looks really good. It's a shame they couldn't get a light up feature in that uh, translucent resin. But I'm sure if you put it in a display area that has light, it's going to really pop in there. Maybe I'll get a shot of it next to where I have Superman for right now because I do have lights in that display. Alright guys, in order to enter this worldwide giveaway, all you need to do is be subscribed to the channel and comment on this video. What I'm going to do is promote this in random videos until we hit 90,000 subscribers. Once we hit that milestone, I'm going to pick a random video and we'll do a random YouTube comment generator during our following live stream. You could be worldwide, any age, all you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Green Lantern in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting the gem to the left. If you want to see all the other statue unboxing and reviews, hit the playlist to the right. As always, thank you for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace.